Com. He's also a colleague in working with system development with Shark Indicators and the Bloodhound software. So he's going to be working with me uh, uh, here today in doing a demonstration of our software. But uh, I just want to make sure you guys are uh, ready to learn some stuff. You guys uh, enjoying the volatility in the markets right now? Uh, hopefully you guys are making some money and and uh, and appreciating when the market volume and the volatility steps back in. It just makes for better trading. So before we get started, I want to cover a quick disclaimer. Shark Indicators and TradeThePlan.com, myself and Daniel, we have no financial interest in your trades or any of the information on trades mentioned herein. There is substantial loss or risk of loss when trading securities, so you need to determine your own risk suitable to trade them. Now, our products and services are for educational purposes only, so any recommendations or any trade examples or statistics or metrics based off system examples that we're going to be showing you here today are basically for educational purposes only. So past performance does not guarantee future results. I know you guys have seen that before. I just want to make sure that you guys know that we are going to be covering some metrics and looking at specific strategies. So it's important to make sure that's covered before we go any further. So who in here is currently using the Ninja Trader platform? Can you guys just type a Y in the chat box if I'm able to see those, uh, Yana, that'd be great. Uh, if you guys are using Ninja Trader, hey Frank, uh, glad to have you here, Mike, John, uh, anybody in here on a demo of Ninja Trader or looking at using Ninja Trader or any of that, that kind of stuff, I just want to kind of understand how many of you guys are actually involved with Ninja Trader. And uh, the reason I'm asking is our product and our main focus is NinjaTrader specific and we, uh, our, our tools are designed for the NinjaTrader platform. And so just moving forward, I just want to make sure that if you have questions around that, that we can make, make that known up front. Now, who in here is currently not in a place of success where they're actually achieving their, their goals, they're hitting their, their targets, they're successfully trading, if you're not in a place where you're happy or you're, you're in a place where you're, you're, you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, just type a Y in the chat box. I think it's really important to kind of gauge the audience before going any further in a presentation. Uh, if we were all highly successful traders, then we wouldn't be in here, right? You would be trading, making money, and, and moving on with your life, right? The reason I'm asking you this, guys, is because what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be laying the roadmap for you guys to understand some of the tools and the resources that we do with our community of traders, right? There's a lot of great resources and there's a lot of valuable uh, places to buy products and to seek out education. What we're gonna be showing you here today is how professional traders build, test, and trade their strategies using one tool under one interface, right? So the first thing I wanna be covering in today's event is the three stages to system trading. Now, systematic trading can be both discretionary and automated based. System trading means rules-based and structural-based. So if you're trading without structure and you are trading where your rules are not the same every time you look to pull the trigger or make a decision based off your trading, then you're not trading with a system or a sound tested strategy. If every time that you take a trade, you go into the market and one day you do something like this and the next day it's a little different and the day after that it's a little bit different, then there's no way to measure consistency there's no way to measure accuracy over the long term. Therefore, expectancy long term is not attainable, right? And I'm saying this as a trader, guys, not as a marketer, right? I'm really here to help you guys understand that in order for you to take this as a business of risk management, we need to measure that risk and, and whether or not we're managing that risk the same way every time, right? And this is really, really important. So let's go into the next one. We want to look at what's under the hood, right? If, if you bought in a really, really fancy car, you know, yeah, maybe it looks nice, but you know, a lot of good car enthusiasts are really, really wanting to know what's under the engine, right? What's under the hood? You know, what's the horsepower? What's the torque, right? Well, with trading, what I'm going to be showing you is the Bloodhound software, and we're going to be showing you what's under the hood today. We're going to really be showing you how myself, Daniel, and a lot of our other traders use one tool to take advantage of three main criteria of trading and running our businesses as traders, okay? And it's not just an indicator, it's a, it's a tool that allows us to be able to build, test, and actually implement our strategies live in the market, right? Now, after that, I'm gonna pass it over to Daniel. Daniel's gonna give a very brief introduction to our strategy starter pack, which is a template that we provide for all of the traders using our software that teaches you how to build the five main criteria systems that are known out there for traders getting started. And he's going to be showing you a breakout comparison of two breakout systems and how we can actually show you the difference between a, a system that is, you know, subpar, most of you guys have probably traded it, and how we can essentially, uh, essentially uh, 
use a different system based off our test results, right? And showing you a better, uh, you know, basically a better way to trade, right? Using a different system. And we're going to be showing you that here in just a moment. Now, at the end, I'm going to be concluding with the value of Bloodhound, right? So uh, the, the essence is understanding what our software can actually do for you moving forward in your trading in, in running a business as a trader, right? So the first thing I want to address is the three stages to system trading. Right now, the key here is not to make money as a trader. The key here is to be a professional trader. If you're a professional trader, right, then you understand the goal of trading is not about how much money you can make. It's about how good you can get at making it, right? And that's the key, right? It's understanding how good you can be knowing your system, knowing your strategy, right? How confident can you get up in the morning and know that you can look at the markets the same way every single day and break it down without guessing Without, without, you know, maybe a bit of fear stepping in, without hesitation, this type of stuff. And if you have trust in your system, it's because you've done the work to become a professional, right? So when, I, when we look at building systems, the first aspect in which we use Bloodhound. Now, I'm going to keep making references to Bloodhound because this is really how we do this all under one interface. We have to create a strategy in order to get paid. Right, we have to create a strategy or trade a strategy. And this is basically done in the first step. Right, we have to pick our markets. Maybe you're trading crude oil. Maybe you guys can type in the chat box the markets that you primarily look at. Right, maybe you're trading the ES or you're trading crude or you're trading the NASDAQ or bonds. Right, I'd, I'd be interested to see which markets you guys are trading. So if you want to pipe that into the chat box, that'd be great. <laughs> then what we're going to do is we're going to assess our time frames. Right, once you pick your market, once you understand the, the instruments that you want to trade, then you want to assess your time frames. We want to know, are you scalping? Are you day trading? Are you, are you swing trading? Are you interest swing trading? This type of stuff, right? We have to identify the indicators, right? Because you may trade price action. Well, then price action would act as your indicator. Maybe you're using momentum, you're using market structure, you're using, you're using volatility, you're using all these different types of order flow, volume, all the stuff that we see out there every day in the marketplace. But in order for us to build a strategy, we need to identify those indicators based off our time frames and based off our market. And then to close out this segment of the first stage, you have to determine the rules for your system. You need to be able to determine with structure, you know, A, B, and C equals a long trade or X, Y, Z equals a short trade, right? We have to be able to assign rules to using the indicators and the momentum or the price action or any of the stuff that you look to build a strategy or trade a strategy, you have to formulate a rule in order to basically give you a trade setup. So you have a reason to execute based off of a set of rules, right? Now, is anybody in here, you know, in a place where they're trying to build strategies, they've been looking at building systems or strategies, and they maybe they're just trying to trade somebody else's strategy, but they'd like to know the rules of the strategy before purchasing the system, this type of stuff. Anybody in here in that boat, just type a Y in the chat box if you guys are interested in building strategies or you're, you're trying to figure out the best way to build a trading system and so forth. Yeah, there's a few of you guys that are definitely in that boat. Exactly. Well, building a strategy does not mean that we can just take that strategy and then go and trade it. Because right? that's what 90% of the industry does and that's why 10% of the traders make 90% of the money. Right? So let's go in here and understand what most people are not doing. They're not building trust. And I say this very very you know upfront because it, as a trader we have to build trust in order for us to be able to apply our strategy with confidence now trust is built through a numerous ways of executing testing right we can look at back testing done on historical performance we can use market replay depending on the platform that you're using which allows us to look at simulated current performance right and then we can also compare the results in in real time scenarios maybe you want to take your strategy run it in simulation during live markets so that you can compare your back test results historically with current environments because nobody knows what's going to happen tomorrow guys nobody knows what's going to happen next week all we have is today's data and in the past right so we need to look at what happened previously and line it up with what's happening in current times to see if there's any type of alliance and this is what's going to give you the confidence to see okay yes it was working previously it's still working now there's a chance that I could have a serious edge here if it's done correctly, right? Now, this is where you guys will actually be able to build the confidence in, in, in application, right? And I seen in the chat box earlier with the previous presenter that uh, a common discussion was the ability to execute. Well, the ability to execute, the fear goes out the window if you've seen your trade setups working more and more over time. 
you'll have less fear taking a loss knowing the next setup is much more probable. Right? So once we've tested your system or you've tested the strategy that you want to trade, then you can apply the method through discretionary, semi-automated, or fully automated trading. And this is where we look at getting paid, building trust, and then taking action. Right? So the reason I'm showing you these three stages is because Bloodhound, our flagship product, allows us to do all three of these with one tool. We can use our template manager to build this trading systems. Then we can use the internal engine right, for basically testing those templates, and then we can use that same internal engine for trading the system either discretionarily or, or automated, right? If you're looking at, you know, maybe building a fully automated system, you can use that as well. If you're looking at using just trade setups and then trading manually, well, that's what you can do as well, right? So let's just break this down one step further. When we look at signal generation, Bloodhound allows us to be able to create rules for a trading strategy. Many of you guys have probably heard of a volatility squeeze. Anybody in here not familiar with this? If you have heard of a volatility squeeze, just type a Y in the chat box, right? Because this is a very common, uh, you know, setup. A lot of traders have probably heard of it. This is when you have two types of volatility channels, one's breaking inside of the other. Uh, mostly people are looking at the Keltner channels and the Bollinger channels for this, right? Uh, I think John Carter, uh, you know, made this one uh, famous, right? Well, it's a very common system. Bloodhound allows us to be able to build these types of strategies very easily. You can see there's a green racing stripe at the entry of a volatility squeeze setup. Maybe you guys have heard of a trend pullback. Maybe you're trading Renko charts or using custom bar types, right? You're waiting for a pullback to the mean and then you're waiting for some sign of a reversal at that area so you can engage in a directional trade. Bloodhound allows us to be able to build setups that can look at how to create the rules for those entries, those red signals that you see on that chart those signal a pullback to the mean. Maybe you're using Bollinger Bands, using Keltner Channels, maybe you're using uh, other types of volatility bands. It really doesn't matter as long as you have a rule around your, your mean uh, setup, right? You want to be pulling back to the average, right? The mean of the volatility area, right? Now, the next setup, maybe you trade breakouts. Anybody here trade breakouts, right? You could use breakouts on swing highs and lows. You could do breakouts on, uh, you know, the donkey and channels. You could use breakouts on you know, the opening range. Many traders need to trade breakouts. Anybody in here trading breakouts right now? Bloodhound allows us to be able to build breakout systems. We can look at basically looking at ways to build it. You know, maybe you have five different ways you want to trade a breakout. Well, you could use Bloodhound to create a signal for each of those five different types of entries. As long as you can create a rule telling, you know, you need this, this, and this to happen, you can signal a long setup or a short setup. Right now, this is what we use Bloodhound for. We use Bloodhound to signal trade setups based off rules des designing a strategy. Maybe you guys trade reversals. Anybody train the mean reversion reversal where you wait for price to go outside of an area like a Bollinger Band or a Keltner Channel and you wait for price to go outside and then all of a sudden your, your targets would be at maybe the midline or, you know, waiting for price to go back. That's also known as mean reversion or reversal setups. Anybody trade these types of strategies? This is a very common type of system. Right? Well, this is the thing. We can build these as well inside of Bloodhound. Maybe you guys are trading momentum. Anybody in here trading momentum trades? Looking at accelerated momentum, you know, this type of stuff. The point I'm getting at here, guys, is that if you can think it, if you have indicators and you want to build a system around it, Bloodhound can build it. 95% of the indicators available in the ecosystem for the NinjaTrader platform are accessible and buildable on, on the Bloodhound platform inside a ninja. And the reason I'm saying this is because rather than you having to mark up your charts and spend thousands of dollars hiring programmers to build this, these types of strategies can be built in a matter of minutes. And the nice thing here is these are all included in a master template that we provide for free with all of our Bloodhound users. So that what we're able to do is we're able to provide you entry template examples that actually show you how to build these types of trading systems. So if you want to know how to build a trend system, you want to build a momentum system or a reversal system. We've already done the legwork for you. Daniel and I spent, spent a lot of time building a master template for our traders. And basically, this is easily accessible. Daniel's going to show you here that in just a moment. Right? So let's skip to the next aspect, testing, which is normally what most people say they do. But most people are doing it like this, right? rather than basically making it hard. Who in here is, is tired of marking up your charts? I mean, a lot of people do it. I still do it when I trade, but I don't do it for testing. 
I do it for when I'm trading live markets. Is anybody in here marking up their charts and saying, okay, I would have got in here, and if I only held on there, I would have got out there, but that's my exit, right? And if this indicator crosses here, this is the entry, and there's my exit. Anybody do that? I'm, I'm assuming there's at least one or two of you guys in here that do this, because almost anybody that I've ever met as a trader is doing this, right? We're marking up the charts. There's the entry. There's the exit, right? And what's happening is they're, they're documenting their trades manually, right? We're looking at you know, maybe keeping a spreadsheet, maybe marking down, you know, seven long, six shorts, three break evens. This is time consuming, guys. We don't have to test like this. Most people are doing it, right? Most people are doing it like this. And this is the old fashioned way, right? With technology, we have the ability to leverage things and make them easier. So inside a Bloodhound, just like I showed you how easy it is to build a template and show you how easy it is to create a signal for longer short trades, we can easily take that exact same template. You can see there's some red short signals here and there's some green uh, long signals here. And you can just literally load the exact same template inside of the Bloodhound uh, interface and click run a back test in IndiTrader Strategy Analyzer. And you can back test the template without having to ever mark up your charts. You define your risk management, your, your entries and your stop loss size and your target sizes. You can run optimizations, you can run back tests, you can run Monte Carlo simulation tests, you can do everything you can possibly think of to test your system with just building one template easily and then doing it with the, the interface of Bloodhound. Right now, the last component, and this is really important because most traders, once they've got a strategy and now they've tested it and they say, okay, I think I got an edge or I'm pretty sure that we, we've got something here. Right? Most people want to just jump in and start trading, but they don't know that we have the ability to trade the way that's most comfortable for you. Right? Who in here is a discretionary trader? Anybody in here discretionary traders? Just type Y if you're a discretionary trader. If you're an automated trader, type an A. I want to know how many people here are looking at automation, how many people here are looking at discretionary. If you're discretionary and automation, type both in the chat box. I really, really want to know how many of you guys are in here discretionary or automated system traders or at least traders without trading systems. Maybe you don't have a system yet. We've got a couple of discretionary, we've got a couple of automated, a couple of both, excellent. Bloodhound, the last component to Bloodhound, right? And yes, you would like to automate, John. Yeah, John is saying you would like to automate. Well, this is exactly why we're here, guys. We have the ability to use the same internal engine, which is known as SI Raven, right? And this SI Raven interface will allow you to turn your strategies into either a, a discretionary signal generated strategy where you can enter manually or you can use SI Raven to replace the chart trader which uses automated entries and exits. You could use SI Raven to basically create a fully automated system based off of the rules that you build with your templates. So all you need to do in step one is build a template based off whatever strategies. You know, a lot of people just want to start basic systems. Then what you do is you test that exact same template with SI Raven with the back testing. And then what you do is you have the choice to trade that either discretionarily by just using the markers on your charts or you could essentially look to automate it. Right now what I like to do is I like to automate my entries and then manually manage the trades, which most people do not have the flexibility when you hear hard coding strategies. We do. Right? So you can look at automated entries and exits. You can look at manual entries and exits. You have the ability to not lock yourself into one strategy. So let's assume you have a strategy and you want to manage that trade because you're seeing something happening in the market that's not making you comfortable. Normally in a hard coded locked in strategy, you do not have the flexibility to, to step in and manage your trades, right? You have to basically trade the auto system the way you set it up, not with Bloodhound and not with the SI Raven engine inside of Bloodhound. You can automate the entries and you can manually come in and step in and move your stops and your targets and adjust the trade you can manually override the trade, et cetera, et cetera, right? So it gives you complete flexibility for manual overriding, right? Now you will be able to remove your emotions because if you're having a hard time pulling the trigger, let's say you have a really good strategy and you know it's good because you've been trading it for a while, but you get up one morning and you take a couple losses and those losses, they, they shadow your confidence for the day, right? It's hard to pull the trigger on the next trade, even with smaller size because you're, you just don't want to take another loss. But that next trade that you did not take was the one that took away all your losses and put you back into the black, right? So this is one of the reasons why we can look at automating the entries by following a rules-based structure and then letting yourself come in and manage the trade based off discretionary practices if that's what's best suiting your, your style, right? Now, I know a lot of traders that use 
the automated component because they're trading multiple markets at the same time. How many of you guys are trading more than one market at a time? Just type a Y in the chat box here if you guys are. I really want to know that because as day traders, a lot of people are looking at more than one market, right? Myself, I'm trading five at every given time, right? But that, that's because I have tools like this to be able to help me monitor and trade multiple markets at the same time without overloading the processing in my brain, right? It takes a lot of processing to look at five different screens or three different screens or even two different screens and make simultaneous decisions without feeling a bit overwhelmed, right? This is what we can use these types of tools for, right? Now, this allows us for advanced order management, right? We can allow for trailing stops, uh, or sorry, not trailing stops. We can allow for uh, split fills, and we can allow for, uh, you, know, you know, this type of, uh, you know, stuff that goes into advanced trade management. Most people are just looking at the signals, but we have advanced order management built into the chart trader so that we can account for live trading capabilities, right? Now, it's ATM accessible, so if you want to build automatic trading management uh, order brackets with NinjaTrader, you can do that with this uh, feature. And this allows you to be able to trade based off multiple targets, uh, you know, having multiple exits and so forth, right? So uh, who in here thinks they could benefit from something like this? And it's not currently using software that allows you to be able to do these types of features. Is anybody here in a place where they're looking to automate their strategies or they're looking to build strategies without having to spend a lot of money coding it and you want to be able to see the signals instantly, right? Well, I'm going to, we're going to show you a demonstration right now. Okay, we've got a bunch of people saying yes in here. Yeah, it, it is good in principle, but I think it's better going to be done, uh, best, best served here with uh, showing you a demonstration. So let's go in here and pass it over to Daniel so we can let him take over for the remainder of the webinar and he can show you under the hood and you can really get into uh, uh, the mechanics of using blood else. So Daniel, I'm going to pass it over to you and uh, if you want to take it away. Sure, sure. Thank you, Sean. Just give me a moment here while I start sharing my screen here. There we go. You should be seeing my screen now. If you can hear me fine and see the screen, just give me a Y in the chat box. Let me know I'm okay. Meanwhile, I just want to say thanks. Hey, Yana. Just wanted to say thanks to you, Yana, and Raleigh, uh, everybody at Trading Pubs. Always a pleasure working with you guys. I uh, hope everyone in the audience is learning a lot today. I know you've had a, a lot of excellent speakers so far and, and more to come. But right now, what I want to make sure you guys understand is how Bloodhound actually works. So I'm sure by now with Sean's presentation, you, you kind of understand what it allows you to do. Um, but when we get inside here and, and you see just how easy it is to build these different uh, trading plan rules or conditions as we call them, uh, I think you'll be pretty amazed. So Sean told you a little bit about the strategy starter pack. What I want to do is, is walk you through each of the different setups that we provide in that starter pack and the first one we're going to look at is uh, the squeeze that, that Sean was talking about, which um, I think he mentioned John Carter had, had made this famous. It's actually been around for a long, very long time. It's just a volatility squeeze. So what we're looking at are two indicators. We have the Bollinger Bands and the Keltner Channel. So we have the Bollinger Bands in orange here and then the Keltner Channel in blue. And we're simply looking for when the Bollinger Bands break inside of the Keltner channel, indicating that volatility is now starting to wane. All right, and then we would initiate the signal when we have uh, the Bollinger Band actually break back outside of the um, upper Keltner or the lower Keltner. Okay, so in order to make that, in order to create a kind of a system like this, an entry like this, as Sean said, we would go through the creation phase. Now, when I am creating any strategy for anyone, and I, I, that's what I do all day long, uh, well, for the, for the afternoons. I trade in the morning, and in the afternoons, I design systems, custom systems for all Bloodhound users. So whenever I'm working with someone or even you know, building on my own, there's a kind of a sequence of steps that I go through when I'm starting to build the strategy initially. You always want to think in terms of setup bar and the trigger. The setup is all of the conditions, and when I say conditions, I mean 
what are the rules for your trading plan? Not, you know, what markets are you going to trade? What time of day are you, you know, all that stuff. What are the rules, the specific rules for the indicators that you're using to initiate an entry? Okay, in this case, the rules would be first, the Bollinger Bands have to break inside of the Keltner. So condition number one would be upper Bollinger must be below upper Keltner. And then vice versa, or likewise, condition number two would be lower Bollinger Band must be inside or above the lower Keltner. And both of those must be true at the same time. So let's just start right there. We have two conditions now showing that the Bollinger Bands have to be inside of the Keltner. So with those two conditions, whoops, I click on this SI starter pack up at the top, that opens the Bloodhound user interface. Okay, so this is Bloodhound right here. We have all of the solvers in the solvers tab, and these are all of the rules that we've created for the trading plan or the strategy or the set of entries that we're using. And then we have the logic tab. This is where the magic happens. This is where we combine all of the different rules or conditions for the trading plan or strategy uh, and combine them with the necessary logic uh, to piece all of these conditions together. So if I wanted to start with just one condition, we're going to look at the Bollinger Band. And we'll set this to a 2 and 20, I think. We're looking at the upper Bollinger Band for A, and then the upper Keltner channel for B. And that's going to be a 2 and a 20 as well. And then the upper. So I just want to make sure that the upper Bollinger Band is below the upper Keltner. But I don't want to get long or short out of this. I just want to isolate those bars. I want to show... Basically, I want to allow either a long or a short uh, on every bar where the upper Bollinger is below the upper Keltner. So I want to get a long when A is below B, and I want to get a short when A is below B. So I don't know if you can see that very well. It's kind of like brown on gray. But we've now isolated every single bar on which the upper Bollinger is now below the upper Keltner. You see that? And now to isolate just a little bit further, what I'll do is I'll copy this. Let's name it first. Bollinger, oh, sorry, below upper Keltner channel. And then I'll go back and I'll copy it. Come back to the logic board. And guys, I'm really flying through this stuff because I have a, a lot to cover. And I want you to see, you know, uh, a kind of a broad overview of, of everything because there's so much to this thing. But just to give you a kind of a, a you know, starter examples, um, how this works and how we piece these things together, let's just run through a couple of these conditions. So what I'll do now is I'll switch to the lower Bollinger Band. You see that? So the first solver was the upper Bollinger and the upper Keltner. Now we're going to do the lower Bollinger and the lower Keltner. And all I need to do is switch these outputs because we're looking at now Bollinger above the Keltner, which is A above B. And there we get both long and short when the upper Bollinger is above the upper Keltner. You see that? So I would piece both of these together with an AND node, which simply means that both must be true at the same time. So we're only going to get both a long and a short signal, we're essentially just isolating that bar, which is part of the setup for this signal. We're isolating all of the bars on which the, the upper Bollinger is below the upper Keltner and the lower Bollinger is above uh, the lower Keltner. Does everybody see that and understand that? I just want to kind of give you a, an idea of how this works. So then all we do is we then take uh, the breakout, we would look at a crossover. We would say, when, you know, show me the bar. We're going to isolate the bar on which the upper Bollinger breaks above the upper Keltner. And then that would be the long. And really all that looks like is this right here. And these are all of the conditions leading up to the entire signal. Okay, so that's how Bloodhound works. So what we do with this, this is the template now. So this is the Bloodhound template. This is the entry 
we could build any number of different exits. Uh, you can you can get pretty complex with this. Um, you can have you can use the ATM strategy to exit, or you can use any number of different conditions: price action conditions, volume, some kind of a volume spike, or something like that. Uh, high volatility, a breakout, really anything you could possibly think of, you could build now an exit template to go along with this. So these would be the entries, and then here I've just built out one simple exit, and that's just price crossing a, an SMA 20. Okay, so what we do is we take this template, and then we'll bring that into the strategy component, which is called Raven. And I'll show you that towards the end, but that's what does the order management um, handling for us okay so bloodhound think of bloodhound as the indicator it's where we build out all the different conditions and then raven is the uh, order management system with which we initiate the trades and manage the trades okay so let's just run through now the rest of these five well there's four more uh, entries for this starter pack so let's go through those briefly and then I want to show you a couple of uh, interesting examples here so that is the squeeze let me just bring it back to it here there's the squeeze breakout now the next one whoops okay this is uh, just a simple kind of common uh, mean reversion entry where we have the Bollinger Bands, and we're initiating the trade from the upper or the lower Bollinger Band, but it's in line with the overall higher time frame trend. So we're, we're using uh, SMA 100, and we're only taking those mean reversion trades in line with the SMA 100. So here, here you can see we would have a short there where we pulled back to the upper Bollinger Band. We now have a reversal bar or below the SMA 100, and then you could either you know get out at the mean or try to get more out of this, however you want to manage that. But this is a typical kind of mean reversion entry. And then here we have a similar kind of a breakout system to the turtles. You guys ever heard here of the turtles? I think it was Richard Dennis that uh, made those guys famous where he trained, I think, 12 or 14 different people on how to trade his system. And that system was using a donkeyan channel kind of a breakout system and that's what we've built here for you okay so we're we're just initiating a, a long signal when we get a breakout of the 55 period donkeyan channel and uh, then if it breaks out to the downside we would initiate a short and then you can manage this according to your own money management rules okay so that's the breakout and this is just a very simple momentum entry. We're using the slope of the LINREG or the linear regression line 55 period. So when the slope is steep enough and the MACD histogram is below the zero line, it's been sloping down for at least two bars in a row. And we have two down bars in a row. Uh, then we would initiate the short trade. Okay. And, you know, you wouldn't expect to get uh, more than just a few bars out of uh, momentum style entries okay so that's a typical momentum entry and then this is probably one of the more common systems that I build for people where most people are using some kind of a Keltner channel or Bollinger Bands or something like that and a moving average and an oscillator all right I can't tell you how many hundreds of, of systems similar to this that I've built so that's why we've added this to the starter pack to give you an idea of how to do or how to build uh, a system exactly like this and this is just a, a perfect example of of this style of a trade where we have a break below the moving average it pulls back to the mid band of the Keltner channel with the oscillator reaching over uh, bought in this case which I'm using uh, 60 on the RSI so anything above 60 is considered overbought I think it's 65 actually inside of the template and then we get a reversal bar from the mid band. All right, so that was a typical kind of a signal there. All right, and there's instructions on how to manipulate this. You can substitute your own indicators, add to it, add any rules that you might have uh, per your own custom entries. So these five systems give you a, a basic kind of an overview of how to go about 
getting into strategy development because a lot of people, you know, this is brand new stuff for for most people, but you really don't begin to fully understand the ins and outs of mechanical system trading, even discretionary trading, until you've managed to put together a few systems on your own and done some back testing and really start to understand what's actually possible and what's not. I know a lot of people, most traders in general, when they first start out, they have uh, these extremely overly high expectations of, of what is possible. And, um, you know, within the first six months, a lot of those dreams are shattered, but you eventually start to understand, you know, well, I'm not really going to double my account every two weeks like I thought I was going to. So, <laughs> but after doing a lot of this back testing and, and, um, building out some of the different things that you've been working with in Bloodhound and seeing what is actually going to occur every time you take that signal, you know, what are the results actually going to be? And then you factor in slippage and run it live and sim and, and see the differences there then you start to make progress and you really begin to understand what's truly necessary to make it in this business. Okay. So what we have here, we have two different breakout systems. I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with the opening range breakout. I think it was Tony Crable that made that famous a long time ago. Um, but the opening range breakout system is on the left. Okay. And then the, the system I'm going to show you an example of today is on the right. And uh, Sean will let you know a little bit more about this system when he gets back on. Uh, this is something that we're actually going to uh, let you guys have, okay? But to give you a little bit of a background on the opening range breakout, let me show you what that is. And then we'll come back and look at these results. And uh, hopefully this will be pretty informative for you guys. I'd, I'd rather this be more educational than anything so you're you know, getting getting a lot out of this. So let's do this. What we do with Bloodhound is we build out the system rules inside of Bloodhound. Okay. Then with Raven, we actually run the back tests and do the uh, order management and run it live and sim and market replay and then in a live, uh, truly live account with real money. Okay. This is what we use to do that. This is Raven. Okay. So I'm going to set the entry, the exit, backtest mode true, show the chart trader, boom, turn it on, it's enabled. All right, what it's doing now is it's loading the strategy and it loads its own chart trader from which you can control live how this thing is going to work. You know, you can pause it if we're going into a, a news announcement. You can actually initiate discretionary trades while the system is fully automated, while it's on. And automated, which is uh, something that's never been, you've never been able to do that until now. So a very awesome little little tool uh, that we have here in the built-in chart trader. But what, what you see before you now is the opening range breakout. And what I've done is I've loaded Raven with the opening range breakout template and run a back test on the chart itself, okay? So an opening range breakout, we're taking the high and the low of the first 30 minutes in this case, you might want to use 10 or 5 or 15 or even an hour if you're trading the ES or something like that. But typically, the first 30-minute period is, is probably the most common, especially for crude oil, maybe 15 to 30 minutes. We're taking the high and the low of that first 30-minute period, and then when we break out of it, as we do right here, we would initiate the short trade, okay? And our target is going to be two times the opening range. So if our... That's awesome. Some of my hotkeys don't work, but you can see that the target down here, IB lower three, is exactly two times the width of the opening range. So this is the picture perfect opening range breakout. We have maybe five or six ticks of heat right here where it moves against us and then it immediately goes straight down to the target. Now, if it happened like that every day, we'd be, uh, we'd all be rich, right? But it, that's not the case. So as of late, this opening range breakout has been trading very well actually but when you do a back test with more than just a year's worth of data let's say we tested this for the past three years the ups and downs the the drawdowns in this growth curve are tremendous they're they're quite huge okay so here as of about a year ago we've had this beautiful growth curve but 
the drawdowns are a little bit too intense for my uh, for my taste. So if we go back to the summary, you can see the drawdown, max drawdown is about 6,600 bucks. Okay, the profit factor is not that great. It's only 1.25. That means you know we're making uh, only a dollar 25 for every dollar that we're losing. All right, we have a lot of trades, 352, and we're a little bit less than 49% accurate. Overall, yes, we've made money, uh, but when you bring in slippage, and um, in this case, we have six ticks per trade on average. So even with slippage, we'd still be making money, yes, but we're in the market quite a bit, and we still have pretty large drawdowns when we're not in a period of high volatility. Uh, that's when this style of a system is really going to beat you up, and uh, you can easily blow an account. But like I said, for the past year, it's, it's done okay. But when we look at another breakout system and compare the two, such as we have right here, and we go back to the summary, well, we've made almost the same amount of money, but a profit factor of almost two now. A lot less commission because we're taking a lot of almost two now. A lot less commission because we're taking a lot less trades. We have a lot higher winning percentage. We're up about 60. We only have three consecutive losers. Here we had seven. And here we have about 11 ticks or 11 and a half ticks. Uh, per trade. So even with two ticks of slippage, we're still making money on this. All right, so these results are almost too good to be true. If you looked at something, uh, if somebody showed me results, a uh, growth curve that looked like this in a webinar, I would immediately think that's ridiculous, that's totally curve fit. All they've done is optimize every single bit of this, and that's completely fake. All right, the truth of the matter is, I built this about right here, okay? That's when I designed this. I actually designed it way back here, but I, I finished it up, cleaned it up about right in here, okay? About the end of the year, not quite the end of the year. And these are the results since that time. So if we look at this system, which we'll do right now, you'll see that there's nothing that can be optimized. Okay, it's not, let's, let me, let me do it like this. These are the rules of the system right here. All right, we've got three indicators, and I'll show you more in depth uh, in this in a moment when I start showing you how Raven works, and we actually run this in market replay. So we've got three indicators, a swings indicator, which comes with Bloodhound, an SMA 100, which is obviously not optimized. If it were optimized, it would be like a 67 or a 113 or something stupid. And then we have a Bollinger Bands 20, I'm sorry, two standard deviations and a 30 period SMA. So that's obviously not optimized. And these are the kinds of results that we're getting with this system. All right, I've, I have about, uh, I don't know, 20 people trading this live and a couple of the guys have written me in. They've made $6,600. Uh, over the past three and a half weeks trading this live. Okay, so it's been doing incredibly well. Now the one rule that makes this thing do as well as it does is this swings indicator right here, and I'll show you that. Let's go in depth in this in a moment. Normally, guys, this is split up into two webinars, so I'm kind of flying through this stuff, but let's go over the rules of this guy right here some reason it knocked off. Okay, here we go. So I just load Bloodhound and then load the template. Click OK and OK and now it's loaded Bloodhound up at the top and I select the entry. And there we go. So what we're looking at is a Bollinger Band breakout. Very simple, very simple stuff. All right, but the one rule that makes this as profitable as it does over the past year is isolating only the breakouts that occur between two swings, all right? So we're not taking a breakout that is, you know, also breaking out to new lows or new highs uh, within the period, which is, you know, the fact is a lot of breakouts, <clears throat> and this is why a lot of people fail initially because the, the first system that most traders put on is a, some kind of a breakout system, all right? But they're breaking out, they're taking breakouts of, you know, the current day high or low, or some major swing or something like that. 
Fact is, most of those breakouts don't work. They actually fail very quickly. They're, you know, a lot of people would refer, refer to those as a fake out breakout, right? What this is attempting to do is eliminate those fake out breakouts. So we're only taking the breakouts that occur between the two swings. So you can see we have a swing high here and a swing low. Here we're not allowing the breakout, even though that probably would have been a winning trade, we're not allowing it because it's breaking out below both swings. Okay, so when I test without that rule compared to with that rule, I'm, we're, we're still making money with the Bollinger breakout, but it's really only about, um, I think it was like four ticks per trade, and the number of trades were upwards of 400. So with that one rule, we've managed to isolate the cream of the crop of these trades, okay? And that's really what you're, what you're after. With every new rule that you're adding to a system, most of the time you're only filtering out total number of trades. In that case, the, the rule is worthless and you may as well take it out because the more rules you add, the more chance you have of curve fitting and um, usually the more rules you add, the worse the system is gonna, going to perform anyway. And this is you know, in mechanical system. Uh, Don is asking, what are the settings of the swings? Okay, the swing indicator, like I said, it's, it's a pretty unique swing indicator that comes with Bloodhound. And the settings of that SI swings, highs, lows are 2, 1, 15. But you guys, you, you don't have to worry about that. You'll have access to this uh, in a moment here. All right, the only thing that I'm doing with time of day is eliminating one hour during the lunch, or sorry, two hours during the lunch period. Okay, I was eliminating Wednesdays, which does make it even better. It, it brings it up to about $26,000, but I didn't want to, you know, curve fit. But really, with Wednesdays and, and trading crude oil, um, that's not, I wouldn't call that curve fitting because the crude oil report comes out on Wednesdays, and most of the time, most systems tend to perform a bit worse because it's you know so incredibly volatile and you get those knee-jerk reactions when the report comes out the crude oil report so I was eliminating uh, Wednesdays usually with with every system on crude oil all right but just to avoid you know any possibility of curve fitting I've left Wednesdays in and then when we look at the graph I mean that's it's as good as it gets that really is especially with a day trading system and we're averaging um, how many trades per day? Where do I have the number? Yeah, so a um, little over half a trade a day, all right? So some days we'll take two or three, and then we might not take a trade for a day or two, all right? So what I want to do now is I want to turn this on uh, live in Market Replay and let you guys see how Raven handles the orders. So what I've got here, and let me just briefly go over this a minute. A lot of you guys were saying that you, the problem that you're having is execution. All right, there's two sides to that coin, all right? You've got people that have a problem initiating the trade, and then you've got people that have a problem with over trading. And then, really, the other side of that would be if you're getting into too many trades, you don't have a problem with initiating the trade, but you have a problem with getting out too soon or holding too long all right so we've got two problems problem with getting in and a problem with getting out either you're not getting in when you should and you're missing a lot of trades or you're over trading and then with your exit you're either exiting too soon or you're holding too long because you're being a little bit greedy bloodhound can handle all of those problems you can initiate the trade automatically we can program your entries and let bloodhound initiate it and then you can manage it discretionarily or you can initiate the trade discretionarily and then have all of your exit conditions built into Bloodhound so that it will actually manage that entry for you all right I think that's uh, one of the coolest features you can enter discretionarily and then let Raven completely manage the trade for you after you've gotten into the trade all right a lot of people think Bloodhound is strictly for mechanical systems that's not true at all what I have here is the market analyzer all right this is one of my indicators it's a divergence indicator but what I've done is I've built in that divergence into a bloodhound template 
and we're monitoring these four markets here looking for divergence. So every time divergence shows up in any one of these markets, I'll get notified and then I can bring that market up and decide whether I want to take the next setup or not. So it's like using Bloodhound as, you know, a, a little helper or something that's notifying you every single time a set of conditions occur in any market you're watching or any time frame that you want to watch. Then you just click on it, bring it up, and then you decide whether you want to take the next setup or not. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run this market replay. First, I need to initiate the strategy. So let's add the strategy. We've got the Bollinger breakout, backtest mode true, enabled, and it's that simple. So now it's enabled, and we run replay, and it will take the next breakout long here. You see there we've got bearish divergence set up in the CL. So on the, well, this is a 10-second chart. I have it as set as a 10-second chart so you guys can see uh, a bunch of signals here. And there's the bearish divergence on crude oil right there. But this is a 12-range chart that we're looking at with the breakout. Okay, quite a big difference between the 150 tick and the 12 range. So the first breakout that we get, Raven will initiate the trade according to the rules that we've designed in this trading system. And this is from today. This is the trade that it took today. 4.9, you see. So the moment that bar closes, we will initiate a long trade. And what I can do from this point out, I can manage the orders discretionarily. I can tighten this stop up, say I want to bring it up behind that low, Let's speed it up a little bit. I can move the orders out. Let's, you know, what if I'm using, uh, I don't know, what if I'm using fibs or something and I want to show when it comes back and it hits this retracement, let's, I did that backwards, but let's say when it comes and it hits this 78.6, or in this case 76.4, which is incorrect, then I would want to get out. So I'll have my limit order sitting right there, and when it comes up and it hits it, it will take me out. You can use Ninja's ATM strategy. Like I said, you can build your own exit conditions, whatever you can think of uh, to build into the Bloodhound template. Initiate the trade mechanically, automated, or you can initiate discretionarily and, of course, let Raven manage the trade or manage it on your own. So very versatile program. This is really, this is the future of uh, trading system development because it's so incredibly fast. I'm able to build out systems in, you know, an hour, half an hour, 45 minutes, things that would take a coder 10, 12, 15 hours to do, I'm able to do in half an hour and then test it and see. So I'm able to go through 20, 30 ideas in an afternoon and then, uh, you know, arrive at something decent and then put it on and start testing. So that's the power of Bloodhound. This thing is truly incredible. You know, I don't work for Shark Indicators. I do these uh, webinars because I love the product so much and it's helped me so incredibly in my trading. And, um, it's it's something I truly believe in. This is this is about the most important tool that I've ever um, invested in in my own trading. So with that, I'm going to pass it back to Sean. He's going to tell you a little bit more about the Bloodhound Advantage, and then uh, we'll take some questions if we have some time. All right, Sean, back to you, man. Okay, Daniel. Perfect. Thanks. I'm just going to. Uh... Just switch over here, guys, and uh, share my screens again. Can everybody hear my voice and now see the projector on the screen? Before I get started, I just want to make sure we got a clear connection and everybody's good to go. Thanks. Did you guys enjoy that? Anybody in here uh, find that useful? Uh, we always welcome feedback, good or bad, right? That's how we learn as uh, presenters and, uh, <laughs> and as traders, we're never too good, right? We're always learning. If you're not learning every day, then... Uh, and you're dying, right? You got to move forward, right? So, uh, essentially, guys, uh, as a trader, uh, Daniel and I, uh, as traders, Daniel and I, we 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 use Bloodhound for three things to simplify all of this. We use Bloodhound to build trading strategies, okay. We also use Bloodhound to test trading strategies, and then we use Bloodhound to trade those strategies. So, 
build, test, and trade. That's if we, if we make it very simple, this is the, the easiest way to basically simplify what our product is designed for. And therefore, if you're looking at taking advantage of becoming a better trader, professional traders use professional tools, right? We're not just looking at a standard stochastic or a Bollinger Band, right? We're looking at a tool that allows us to take those tools and build strategies without having to learn computer programming languages and having to hire programmers and, and to do all of this legwork, right? So, so if you can think about it, if you have one tool that's going to allow you to take advantage of all of your tools and build and test and trade and do all these features, this will put you at a more professional level, level when you approach your business as a trader, right? Now, like I said, no coding. I'm not a programmer. Daniel's not a programmer. Frankly, we don't ever plan on being programmers. There's no need to be a programmer. Uh, we can build our strategies using Bloodhound now. It's uh, it's not even an option, right? So the next one here is, in my, in my my favorite is that it's user friendly. I mean, it's very fast. It allows us to, I know we, I, I built a system this morning in the pre-markets. So I was looking at testing an idea. I wanted to test accelerated momentum off of one of my trade setups. And uh, Daniel and I, I mean, I just pinged Daniel. Daniel and I talked for a couple minutes. We could build a strategy in two minutes. It took me to build an accelerated momentum strategy based off a couple of the indicators that I was using. And the same strategy to code it probably would have taken two days and probably about $500, right? So <laughs> that's uh, that's the kind of reason why I love it so much, right? So we get to save a lot of money, mainly because for, for any of you guys, have any of you guys ever hired programmers or looked at building automated systems and then had to go through website after website trying to figure out, you know, how much is this going to cost me? And you know, it, is it going to work? Has anybody ever done that? Anybody here looked at coding indicators or programming strategies? If you have, just type a Y in the chat box, right? Right. And and there's there's a need for programmers, right? Like uh, we need to, we need to be able to have indicators, right? We need to be able to build indicators. Uh, but what Bloodhound allows us to do is it allows us to leverage those indicators to build systems, right? Which essentially saves even more money and time. Now, my favorite is it's like having my own programmer in my back pocket for life. And what I mean by this is let's say tomorrow I wake up and I want to test a new theory or a new idea in combination with maybe some of the strategies I'm currently trading. Or maybe you purchase a system from a vendor or you're on a trial or you want to test something like that. You have the ability to, to validate what you're doing. Right? You could go in and you could build out the rules for some of the strategies you're looking to buy and, and you could look at what's going on and you could literally test those strategies. Now, let's say two weeks from now you have a new idea, you buy a new indicator, and you want to build a strategy with that indicator, you can build it, right? All you got to do is turn your computers on and, and put it together, right? So, you know, this is essentially one of the best things about Blood. Now, the most important thing to understand here, guys, and, you know, I kind of I kind of smile when I when I bring this to the, to the audience because we've actually been approached by, I would say, <laughs> over 50% of our audience. Uh, not audience, but customers, customer audience, and they say, well, why, why are you guys charging your software so inexpensive? Why is it, is it priced so inexpensively, right, for what it does? And our answer to that is because we have a, a, an ecosystem of partners, uh, other companies that run trading rooms and run uh, educational programs and sell trading systems that actually use our software in their businesses. So we have, I think, over 15 companies now that work with us in the NinjaTrader ecosystem. Uh, we've got over five or six, I think, sorry, seven trade rooms, uh, four indicator vendors, and uh, a couple other a couple other vendors as well that actually use Bloodhound in their business, right? They build their trading systems, and they use it in their trade rooms for signal generation, for testing, and for automation. And as a result of that, we're able to keep our price of our software at a very low barrier to entry, because we have the, the leverage of all of these other partners working with us in, in providing our product to their traders as well. So if we were just a single operation and we were literally just trying to sell our product to individual traders, then we would have to price our product much higher, right? But because we work with all these other partners, we have the ability to keep our product at a much lower price, which is beneficial to the retail trader because it's a very expensive business and it's a very expensive industry. So we have three versions of our software, guys. <clears throat> the ultimate version is what you will need to run the strategy starter pack and the Bollinger brand breakout systems. And uh, pretty much all of the better trading strategies that you're looking to construct 
will require the ultimate. If you're simply just wanting to build like a moving average crossover or you just want to see when stochastics is overbought or oversold and have a crossover for that, then the standard and the professional will be better for you. But the ultimate version has no restrictions. And if you ever purchase the standard or professional version, okay, what will happen is it will cost you more money to upgrade anyways to the ultimate. So what we do is we just recommend purchasing the ultimate up front and we give you one year free of updates. We charge a maintenance fee every year which is $125 every year and we will give you one year free of maintenance updates. And therefore, it's a one-time purchase. You're not having to pay $495 every, every, uh, every year. $495, you own the software for life. If you just want to run the update, it's going to cost you $125 a year to keep the most current version running. And, uh, and in my opinion, that's one, that's maybe two good trades on crude if you're trading one lots, right, or two lots, right? So <laughs> one good trade pays for a software you're going to use for, uh, for the rest of your business. And uh, it'll save you thousands longer term. Right now, here's the cool thing. We provide you with the strategy starter pack so you could learn easily and build systems based off of the strategy starter pack that Daniel provided for you. So it comes with a template that allows you to be able to see how five trading types of strategies are built. But here's the thing. Do you know the Bollinger breakout strategy that, uh, that Daniel was just demonstrating? Does anybody in here think that using that Bollinger strategy, uh, the breakout system that Daniel just showed you the metrics for, and, the, and we've got live traders trading it with real capital. So it's, it's a full-blown system that people are using effectively. Does anybody in here think that you could leverage that or benefit from that if you didn't maybe make money this week or, or last week and you're looking to enhance your gains? Right. Well, what if I told you that I'm, we're going to give it to you for free? If you purchase Bloodhound, the ultimate edition, okay, we're going to give you that system for free. I can assure you this, that, that that system pays in and of itself. I mean, that system is worth a lot more than what, what Bloodhound is being sold for. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to give you a link right now. This offer is only good for tonight. And the reason I'm telling you this is because <clears throat> we did this specifically for the trade-a-thon. We're going to give you the Bollinger Breakout system for free if you invest in the Bloodhound software. And therefore, you also will receive free weekly training seminars with our product specialist. Every Friday, we hold workshops where our product specialist actually teaches traders how to use the software in building different types of systems. So if you have strategies you want to build and you want to know how to build them, you can just send us email requests and you could, we could cover that in the workshops. But a lot of traders in there, a lot of experienced traders, uh, a lot of new traders, right, if you, you know, but those are free. Right now, here's something that most people do not does not know exists, right? And I'm going to be very quick with this. Uh, let's see here. Learn Bloodhound. Let's do this. So if we bring this over here, guys, on our website, okay, if you go to support and you go to learn Bloodhound and you go to template files, most people doesn't even know this exists. And yeah, and if I could get you to post the link in here, that'd be great for. Uh, for uh, the, uh, the special offer. Perfect. What I'll do is, is I'm going to show you in here, you're going to see here we provide chart templates and we have 121 Bloodhound templates that we will give you to be able to use for free. Just for being a Bloodhound owner, you can take advantage of all these different types of system templates that most people would have coded, but divergence templates, double stochastics, moving average price balance, trending templates, you name it. There's over 121 example entry templates for strategies that can be used for free just for being an owner of Bloodhound. And those are accessible on our website. Right? You'll also see here we have an ecosystem of partners right, that are using these system templates in their, in their trading. Right? So, so hopefully you guys can take advantage of that. The offer is good only till tonight at midnight. If you have any other questions uh, as our time is running out, take a screenshot of our contact information here. Uh, I'd be more than happy to speak with you on the phone. I hope you guys enjoy the uh, the rest of the trade-a-thon. I know there's a lot of great speakers. Uh, I'm actually, uh, you know, in communication with a lot of them actually, <laughs> but uh, the they're great. They're great educators, great traders. Um, really hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for letting us be here, guys. Really appreciate it. Well, I tell you what, uh, thank you, Sean and Daniel, for that super presentation on how you use Bloodhound to build and test automated signal trading setups in the markets. I, I like the time, especially like the time that Daniel took to demonstrate 
step-by-step <clears throat> uh, -step how Bloodhound works and showed how to program uh, the volatility squeeze and, and other strategies and into an automated trading system that you can use to not only backtest your strategies, but to optimize it and then actually trade it. I also want to thank you for that very special offer that you put together, which includes one year free maintenance on the ultimate package, which I understand is $120 value, as well as the bonus of having the starter, uh, uh, the strategy starter pack and the Bollinger breakout system, both of which are a limited time offering. So once again, thank you for extending to our members here today that very special and generous offer. And once again, thank for you, you both for your time today.